Canadians are shying away from buying big ticket items as of now because inflation is very high whereas Bank of Canada is increasing their benchmark rate aggressively in an effort to control it. Let's explore in this video what is going on with cost of living here at home in Canada, why people are shying away from buying big ticket items right now, is this the right time to tighten your belt while introducing some kind of budgeting and at the end my perspective how to navigate such challenging times. Hi, my name is Sunny and I make content that affect a common man financially. So let's dive into today's topic, why big ticket buys are on hold. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to it alongside smashing that like button as that will help me with the YouTube algorithm, which of course will be highly appreciated. According to recent survey, Canadians are thinking twice before spending as inflation touched 8.1% in June not seen since 1983. In June, prices at the pumps jumped by more than 50% compared to what they were a year ago. And that affects the price of most everything you see in stores and restaurants because they're trucked and shipped in. Food across the board costs nearly 9% more, hitting restaurants hard. Canada's latest note says Canadians are looking for something to blame for inflation. But there are multiple causes and no smoking gun. As inflation becomes politicized, it says it's worth remembering that global and domestic, tangible and intangible factors are contributing. Blame has been directed at the Bank of Canada for not acting sooner to combat inflation. Instead, it's unleashed jumbo rate hikes since March to cool the economy and hopefully tame the rising cost of living. Take the case of gas prices. They have gone up by 50% this June as compared to same time last year, which has hugely contributed to the rate of inflation. Looking at all the things that we need, whether necessities or luxuries, each and every item has gone up immensely in the recent times, whereas incomes have remained almost stagnant. According to a recent survey done by Stats Canada, rising prices have contributed to a greater degree when it comes to financial concerns of a common man, apart from influencing their day-to-day -day monetary decisions. The first thing that inflation does is to put doubt in a common man's mind about affordability of things they need to survive. Often during such times, rate of wage growth is not able to keep up with the rising cost of living which has gone out of control recently. Now in order to control inflation, Bank of Canada has been raising their benchmark rate very aggressively which has put additional pressure on households as well as businesses where cost of their borrowing has gone up as well. According to ARI's latest poll, about 75% of Canadian feels these are bad times to make big ticket purchases like home, car or major renovation, which is 20% more than what people were thinking about two years ago. In such unpredictable times, it is fiscally prudent to put similar big purchases on hold at least for the next 12 to 18 months or until we have some sort of clarity which way economy, inflation and job data is going. Mind you, this is not the first time we have seen such economic downturn. We all remember 2008-2009 financial crisis when people were predicting end of the financial system as we know, but looking back, we all have done reasonably okay. Often challenging time teaches us value of money and what we are seeing these days are no different. Putting your priorities right is often advisable when we encounter tough financial situations which might look cheap to an outsider, but who cares? Whether you are a big business or a small household, importance of budgeting cannot be ignored, otherwise in extreme cases you can end up in financial mess or even bankruptcy. That is exactly the reason why experts are advising to put on hold big purchases for the time being unless it is something really essential like your car that you need for work but has recently broken down, hence need to buy. If there is one thing you need to control when times are tough financially, it is your urge or wants or entitlements. As a financially responsible adult, we should be able to differentiate between our wants and needs, which according to many experts is the bedrock of one's financial stability 
as often people confuse between what they really need and what they want very badly. Most of us have a wrong notion that we are entitled to all the finer things in life irrespective of whether we can afford it or not, which according to me is a perfect recipe for a financial disaster. Don't get me wrong, there is nothing wrong with having aspirations but keeping in mind your financial situation is equally important. Therefore, running a tighter financial shape can let you weather today's turbulent times and hopefully you can come out monetarily strong in the future. But that is me, I might be wrong, do your own due diligence before investing based on your risk tolerance. As a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor, please consult one before investing based on your personal financial situation. If you like the content that I make, please help me and my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.